And welcome back to another episode of Water Park World, where I'm currently standing on what we created last episode. This huge mountain, which is now nighttime, you can't see anything. This huge mountain where I built a freaking cannon slide on it right now, guys. It is so damn good. You get shot so quick and so fast into the air, like a freaking cannon. And you splash land, and it is beautiful. I've had some really cool ideas what else we could do to the mountain. I've been thinking about building a cave inside. Let me know what you guys think about that idea. But anyway, guys, we are back at, as always, I asked you each episode to rename my park. And today, we've got a really good one. And this is coming in from Matteo Melio. Um, apologies if I say your name wrong. Uh, they say to rename their park Launcher Falls because they get launched into, uh, launch and fall into the water. Which is pretty good, because it sounds like Lunchable. You know that, you know, come on guys, we've all had Lunchables growing up as a kid. Some of us still have them today. Leave me alone. Uh, but that's a really cool name, I like that one. So let's rename the park right now from Spring Fling to Launch. Hang on, let me spell Launch right. Launch, why is it getting Launch? Ah, Falls, there we go. It really almost does sound like Lunchable. <laughs> And it's all hashtagged out, so JJ everybody. So if you were near my park next episode, guys, then leave a comment down below. But today, we're doing something pretty good. Now, I've kind of been playing around with certain stuff, like, you know, the different attachments that you can add to slides. And I've got a really, really cool idea. Like, it's a really, really cool idea. I want to, and I'm going to see if it is possible, because it could take... Quite a bit of maneuvering. I'm just trying to get over here right now to show you where I'm gonna hopefully place this. I want to see because you can you can build like a straight slide and you can do like the loop, but you can kind of do the sideways loop if that makes sense, and like it spirals round. I want to see if I can get it spiraling around one of the towers of our castle, which would be quite cool. But it would mean that I kind of need to have it off centered to the castle itself. Um, so I'm thinking that I have a slide entrance roundabout here. Sounds weird. Yes, I know. But it might do something cool around this, which I'm quite excited about. It also gives this kind of top terrace area a little bit more functionality as well. People come up here to enjoy their food, can watch people get shot a million miles in the air. And I've just noticed that this chair right here is completely the wrong color. So let's try quickly. Do you know what? Let's fix this quickly because that's going to annoy me. Copy you, boom, there we go. No idea how long that's been like that, but hey ho, there we go. So my idea is, back into build mode against Zeniac, go for these slides where you lie down, and we'll go for a custom one. And I, I'll show you exactly what I mean in just a second. So if I pick, well, I'm gonna have to delete this slightly, aren't I? Right, if I delete, I'm gonna delete a nice chunk of it so I've got like a, a huge section to play around with. Hopefully nobody falls off this area. Why can't I zoom in? There we go. And if I select there, that's what I'm talking about. I don't know why that's popped up like that, but hey-ho. So if I go straight for a little bit, I'm going to have to put some boosters on to make it like super duper fast. And then if I get some more pieces, and if you don't do a ramp, you can do an inclined looping. And I'm going to see if I can get that to go around a couple of times. Now, by the looks of it, it might be better... If it was a little bit, I mean, if I, let's just say if I built it right now, I could quite possibly build a second one, but it goes in the ground. That's actually the perfect place in as well, which is pretty cool. So I, it looks like I needed to go a slightly a little bit higher. Right, if I kind of uh, just demolish it myself, why, why, why can't I move? Excuse me, let me go back. There we go. So I might have to create like a little platform or something in this area, which would be kind of dope. I'm excited about that. So let's get rid of these tables and chairs right now. Let's say Asta La Vista to them, baby. Get rid of you a second. Get rid of you. Uh, get rid of you that bin there. And we're just going to bring it up slightly uh, as a platform so I can get that height and hopefully get two inclining loops going around the tower. That's going to be freaking dope. Taking this right now. So, terrain. I just want to create a floor to begin with. And I think this height here 
is probably per... Oh, it's snow. It's snow. What have I done? <laughs> well, it's ice, not snow. So if I kind of bring it to there, and I think I'll bring it out by one more, that should be um, pretty good. And I kind of need to then put the path... Uh, is it is it this one on Plank I've been using? Yeah. The whole thing's changed recently with that update, and it's now a little bit weird to try and figure out where that some of the stuff is. But get rid of the kind of side areas, and then... Uh, no, it's, I need fences and stuff. Fences and stuff, boys! Uh, let me go for it to terrain height, so I can keep that stone wall a going as I bring it round. So I'm creating this delicious, beautiful platform. Might look a little bit weird, but we're going to create a staircase just here, so that will be kind of cool. And I think, do I go for a solid version or what? You think a solid version is better or more of a uh, a floaty version? I think I'll go floaty version because <laughs> that makes so much sense. Let me actually undo that and then start the float there, which is pretty pretty sweet. There we go. So you got still a little bit of space on the side there to walk up, which I kind of need to create the terrain a little bit further over, don't I? So create floor again. Now, do I make it go right against this? For no particular reason, because I can kind of then finalize all that area off, which would be pretty cool. And then the wooden planks. We'll play around with this design now. We'll see what it looks like, and then we'll kind of see if I need to change it slightly. So let's just get the uh, the fences back up then. So we've got the one terrain height just here because that's all we kind of need there. We've got to do the two here. And if I can get just under. Like that. So and then we get... We, it kind of creates a nice little balcony area looking over. So I want to do something here. I want to use that either as a walkway or a shoot for another slide. I've got ideas, guys. I've got ideas in my brains right now. And this might be the perfect thing to kind of create that up and over. I don't know. We'll, we'll, we'll see. We'll see. I might eventually extend that out a little bit more. But for now, though, this is what it's looking like. There to there. Now, I won't do the wall here because I don't know exactly where I'm going to be placing the slide. But let's keep that like that. And we'll just add in... Right, what type of... Should I use what I've always used for, like, the kind of railing system? I think so. Which has always been this. So we'll add in one there, one there for the beautiful railing system. How about that one just there? Kind of carve it in slightly. Yeah, not too bad, not too shabby. So let's get out of here then. Let's just kind of check this out. This works wonderfully and it sets up. Oh, and it hit my microphone. It sets up perfectly now to create that inclined loop going around. It's a few bits higher. I could also eventually maybe bridge this over a bit more and use it to get up to this little kind of um, pillar thing there and do something cool with that. Oh, it does open us to quite a few options, doesn't it? That does. That's kind of cool. Right, let's go back to the slides. Uh, slides, and we're going for the light down one right now, and we go for the custom. Now, I'm going to play around with spacing, but I think I'm just going to stick it there for now. Uh... Yeah, with the positioning of that there, it looks pretty cool. But I need to add in. Let me just kind of get rid of these supports. More pieces, the Super Blaster. Right, drop a couple of Super Blasters down. And we'll Super Blast it. And then, is it the inclined right? Yeah, I need to go a little bit more forward. So a little bit more forward. Inclined right. Oh, a little bit more forward as well. Right, inclined right now. Ooh, a little bit more. I keep saying a little bit more, and it's always a little bit more after that. Right. Oh, too far. Okay, great. This is perfect. Now we've got too far. It's better to go too far. Because so I can remove a piece, and that is the perfect one. So that fits wonderfully. So if I build that, and then pretty much build another, how cool does that look right now? Going around the towers. Now, it does ditch us down a bit more. But that's fine. So I'm going to uh, terraform it anyway to kind of sort it out. But what we would do, because we're going to have like a ton of speed. If I bring it up myself and then turn, it's almost like I've created a loop itself. And I'm hoping that then, if I, should I do a slight turn or a smaller turn? Uh, if I go straight there 
and then no like that i'm hoping that will then land into this area over here should be pretty sweet it should be so let's take a look then that should oh well you know take into account there's not too much speed going on it so what we should do is we should open it up and we should get a victim to test it out now while we wait for them to test it out we have to go back in we have to kind of get rid of the the terrain dip so he dips, and if I kind of kill it off to there, there, because some of it I can half cut it, if that makes sense. So I just kill there, kill that. Just kill where it kind of crosses over. And then we'll half do it. So I'm now just playing the waiting game as we wait for someone to come and take it on. And if I then create or add the floor and we do the diagonal right, is anybody coming up yet no let me see if this person comes up okay so this person now about to tackle it and now we're now gonna see them it might be too many boosters but they go up they go round twice and the third time they go around and they shoot off and they land perfectly and I feel me getting 17 coins if I've seen that correctly. But I'll come back to that. But now I know it works. That's freaking glorious, boys. Right, I've got to now try and somehow get this working. So if I cut it, is it best I cut diagonally? And add it in? Is that the best way to do it? I don't know. It's, it's quite weird, isn't it? If I cut diagonally there and then add floor diagonally. Yeah, I've got to paint the whole thing grass, I just realized. Right, if I can get in. So I'm not quite sure how I paint. Oh, there, there we go. I'm about to say, I'm not quite sure how I paint the sides. But your boys figured it out. Your boy has slightly figured it out. It's kind of really hard to see. But I think... I think we'll kind of go for this for now. Because now it's all grass. You kind of don't really see the dip that much. But that is freaking dope. you got to admit. Right, I've got to change the colour of it. We need to add some lights over here. So I might as well do the lights first before we do anything else. Because it is kind of dark at the moment. So, lighting. Let's first do our generic piece. There we go. Our generic lighting on top of the tower. Wonderful. Uh, we'll then do a ring going around on the inside if i can see it's probably not the same level but it's going to be as good as there we go so we add some lights in just there in general we need to finish off that fence as well let's get some right we did have a spotlight over here didn't we so let's put that spotlight back there so again bringing the light back but it'd be nice to get some hanging spotlights now that could be bit too much does that go flush against it well, if I do it like this so that's facing down on the whole area which is pretty cool and then we'll get the f slightly facing up ones All right, there we go so that kind of goes over there so you don't really see it that much this But the lights are there to make this place super bright, which is kind of cool. I might sort out those lights and do something different in the future, but for now, pretty dope. Um, can you color select these lights? Uh, oh no, I want to paint them. So if I painted them and color selected them, the white is the color coming through it. So if I pick yellow and paint it, right, that now produces yellow light. Right, now what? You know, I'm going to go for a yellow slide. So if I went with a yellow slide, which makes these lights slightly yellow. So he puts a yellow perspective over on that side, which is kind of weird. 
And then if I paint, or oh, select the color, blue to yellow. All right, there we go. Just get all these little nooks and crannies. So bright yellow brings this to life. This shows you that one, we ain't all about playing games. Oh, actually, you know what? No, I see what I've done. If I pick it that color, pick it. Is it too far away to pick? To color pick that. There we go. Not exactly yellow, but that slight mustardy orangey color, which looks it looks a lot better, doesn't it? I might change the lights to this color as well. Or do you think I should keep the, the lights yellow? Hmm. See, now I don't know. I also, do you know what? Let me get rid of the lights. If I get rid of them, it looks a bit more natural, doesn't it? I kind of like that better, not having lights on. But let me uh, let me just sort this out anyway. So one, okay, the support paint's gone, but I need to get then in the fences. Finish this fence up there so nobody dies and sues us. But that's pretty cool, isn't it? I, I kind of really like that. I, I don't know what it is about it, but the fact that it spirals around the tower is amazing. Well, I want to take a nice little screenshot real quick. Right, do you reckon that is the money-making shot right there? I don't know. We'll figure it out. But it all now means your boy has to ride this. So this is going to be cool. So you ready for this? So there we go. Press and then... F the first person mode it. Oh my god. And all you're seeing is the tower. And then you get flown in the air and land in the water. That's actually pretty cool, isn't it? Alright, is there somebody else about to go on this? We need somebody else to go on it. So I want to see exactly how much money we are making. Because, you know. So this castle, we've gone from... I thought this spiral here was pretty cool. But look at that spiral. That is on another level right now. It's quite cool when you build a big structure like that we have right now, like the castle and, and the mountain as well. Because then the slides that you build kind of get incorporated with it. So we have like our first generic spiral. We then have our little dip and up and then springboard. And now we got this little, like, it's like it's like a snake wrapped around a terror. If you guys can give it some like pretty cool name suggestions, incorporating what we've just done today, for next episode as I've renamed the park, that would be freaking genius. Right, they get so much speed on that too. So they're about now to hit this. They land there. And is, it, is it 17? 10, 5, 6, 7. Yeah, it's definitely 17 coinages we are getting. So guys, I think we're going to end it for there. I've got some really cool things coming up for this series and what we're going to build in here. So guys, you best, you best make, if you haven't already, make sure you subscribe so you don't miss out on what's coming soon with this. But for now, guys, I hope you've enjoyed it. We've created this snake-wrapped inverted looping slide around one of the towers in our castle. If that's not freaking genius, I don't know what is. But until next time, I'll see you all soon. So, good. Bye. Listen.